I really can't wait to try these out. Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, so today I'm thinking of going to Daiso and I'm going to bring you guys with me. Daiso is a very popular dollar store in Japan. I brought you guys with me to Syria last time and you guys liked it. So today I was like, why not? Again, I'm thinking of buying a lot of art supplies and other random things and I hope you guys like it. So without further ado, going to Daiso and buying everything. Let's get started. These clays were so popular like around a year ago. A lot of people used to mix these into slime. I've never seen this clay before. Black soft clay. Hmm. Look at all the alcohol markers. Oh my god. There's so many colors. I'll try to get every single color. Blue, pink, brown, gray. Ooh, a blender. Some random colors. Orange, yellow, mint green, blue, purple. Are these the same color? No, they aren't. Oh my god, there's so many colors. And there's a whole row underneath. Yellow, pink, red, random colors, blue. Blue, green, pink. Okay, I think these are the same colors, so I'm only going to get one of these. How about this? Are these the same color? Yeah, they are. How about this? Okay, I'm going to get this. Oh, <laughs> there's so many markers here. But there's actually more different kinds of markers. And a brush pen underneath. I want to try these. <laughs> Look at all these markers. I really can't wait to try these out. Okay, let's move on. I need super glue. I think this one's gonna work. These are all really weird notepads. Oh my gosh, I gotta get this one. It's a ramen notepad. This is cute. And maybe this. These clips are kind of interesting. Look, a pencil case. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Some toys. Oh, these are so cute. Look, you can get like a shopping cart. You could get like a dresser and some cooking appliances. A miniature room and a bathtub. I've got to get these for my hamsters. These doll clothes are actually not that bad. This one kind of reminds me of Belle. I didn't know they have makeup collabs with Hello Kitty. I need to try these. I can't believe all these accessories are just for a dollar. These are actually really good quality. I want to try these earrings. So huge. Some manicures. I'm gonna get a few of these. And by a few, I mean like a lot. These are all Hello Kitty too. Black and white. Silver. I think I'm done with the polishes. Oh my gosh, you can go literally camping with Daiso supplies. 
that's impressive a tent i mean granted it's ten dollars but still ten dollars for a tent some kitchen supplies i need it Ooh. and all of these just for a dollar Oh my gosh, since this is one of the biggest Daisos ever, it takes forever to go around. A unicorn for a dollar? These cost ten dollars, but still, they're so cute. For my DIY lovers, these are all decorative sheets, which you can peel off and stick onto a surface to give it a new look. All these just for a dollar. some fabric and some yarn. You know yarns can be really really expensive. I need to clean my kitchen. And there's a lot of food in Daiso so you can basically live off just from Daiso. Let's get some snacks. What do we have? One of my favorites. Some ramen. <laughs> Chocolate. Ooh, cookie monsters. I've never had these before. Okay, and I think we're done. And I'm back. Oh my god. This is like even bigger than Baymax. So let me show you guys what I got today. Oh my gosh, look at the receipt. I haven't looked at the total cost yet, so I'm gonna put this aside and show you guys the items first. The first thing I see are some kitchen sponges. Um, I just really needed them. And so I got these really adorable miniature toys. Apparently it's collabed with Hello Kitty. It's so cute. I kind of want to unbox this. See, it turns into a little room. You could put like a bed or a bathtub. And I thought it would be really cute to play with my hamsters. Moving on. I thought these clips were kind of interesting because you could see through them. Some Disney stickers. Ooh, they're so pretty. I want to put them on my laptop. This pen is so fun. It looks like a candy cane. It's a pen. Some clay. I've just never seen this clay in this package before, so I wanted to try them out. I know they're really popular for slime, but it's all black, so it's not like the best color for slime, but it's still going to be interesting. Next up, <laughs> some snacks. Oh, there's a sticker inside. Let's see who I got. There you go. And the reveal. Ta-da! Bachinki, the starter Pokemon. There's so many new Pokemons. I need to get back on track. Anyways, a huge pencil case. That's a shape of a pencil. It's actually quite big. Oh, it'll be so cute to like draw something right here. Like a character, maybe a Pokemon? A blue Pokemon right here. That'll be interesting. I'll keep that in mind. A ladle, a dress for dolls, another snack, some painting blue. Oh my gosh, look at these stationery. This is a memo pad in the shape of a ramen. Let me open one. Oh. And it comes with seaweed and stuff. That is so interesting. It's making me hungry. It looks like a pack of gummies, but they're actually a pack of erasers. Oh, it's a bear eraser, like a gummy bear. Six in total. I would have definitely brought it to school and gave some to my friends. And the last memo pack. Ooh, it's an envelope. You can put something inside, fold it down like this, and glue it. Again, so cute. Okay, next up we have some makeup. They're both from the Hello Kitty collection. You can see Hello Kitty on the lid. That is a pretty packaging. And of course we have some highlighter. Ooh, that's pigmented. Okay, that's a lot more pigmented than I thought. I mean, it's a little bit chalky, but ooh, look at the highlight. I'm actually very impressed. And a cheek slash lipstick. So you can basically use it for anywhere you want. But again, the packaging is so pretty. And let's see how it works. 
Okay, that's pretty pigmented. And it's a really pretty color. I would definitely use this every day. The packaging itself is so pretty. I really can't believe these are a dollar. And I've got some cute flakies. You can basically use them for like everything. Any kind of art, nail art, everything. So useful. I also got this really big hoop earring. I've always wanted to try out like a really big earring. Okay, moving on. Okay, I know this looks kind of insane, but I've got a lot of nail polishes. I know. First off, most of them are Hello Kitty collab, so they're so cute. But I do have a reason why I got all these nail polishes. I'm thinking of using them for a different video. So, you know, it's like killing two birds with one stone. Ooh, this color is so pretty. It's like a really natural rose color. I love it. Okay, now I'm going to put them aside. Okay, lastly, but not least, you guys saw me choose all these, but the rest are all markers. I'm really impressed with the lineup. Like literally, there's so many different colors. And they're a dollar a pack, which means that each marker costs 50 cents. So these are all alcohol markers, just like Copic markers, with a dual tip. One side is a broad tip, while the other tip is a fine tip. Okay, so they're not brush tips like Copic markers, and I prefer brush tips, so obviously they won't be my favorite markers, but I would probably be using them for like backgrounds or when I want to fill up like a big space. That way I could kind of save my ink for my Copic markers. They did also have brush tip pens, but there were only eight markers in total. Oh wait, I got two of the same colors. Oops. So basically there's only six markers with a brush tip in total. The color variation is not that great. I mean, there's only brown, blue, and green. So there's not much you can do with them, but let's try them out real quick. Okay, here's my sketchbook. And I guess I drew this really random heart. So I'm going to just fill it in. Okay, right off the bat, I could tell that these tips are very, very nice. The color looks so different after it dries. That's kind of weird. But the brush is really nice and sturdy. I could see myself using this a lot. However, there's only four different colors, so there's not much I can do with them. Hopefully, they will come out with more colors. And if they did, I would definitely buy them. Did I say four colors? I meant six. So here's the light green. Ooh, that's so opaque. This is a really pretty color and some green. Ooh, like emerald green. Yeah, they're really nice. I give them nine out of 10. Let me try a few of these alcohol markers. Like seriously, I'm so impressed with all these different colors. There's basically seven different colors for pink. Starting from the lightest color. That's very, very light. This could be a really useful skin color. Next, flamingo pink. Okay, these markers are very, very nice. It's really opaque and juicy. Oh, not this one. This one's a bit streaky. I don't think I can use this one. This one's a pass for me. I guess it really depends on the marker. Okay. Ooh, that's like a really great highlighter. And lastly, fuchsia pink. Perfect. Yeah, it's really, really juicy. I don't know why, but the third one was like dry kind of. But other than that, all the other colors are really, really pretty. But again, like I said, they're both hard tips. So I don't think they're going to be dupes of Copic markers. But still, they're very, very nice. Oh wait, we also have yellow and red for the brush tips. Okay, we still need more colors, but I'm a big fan of these markers. Look, I drew an apple. I wanna see how it works with the blender. <gasps> it totally changed the color. This is supposed to be a blender and you're supposed to be able to blend the colors in and make some gradient effects. But I'm not really seeing that happening. I'm seeing more like a color shift, which is still cool, but I guess I wouldn't be using them as blenders. And I guess that's it for today. Okay, that was a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? And the cost came out to be $90. Considering I got like 
all these supplies at once and all these alcohol markers and some stuff for my other videos. I'm actually quite satisfied. So what did you guys think? I really can't wait to make more art with all these supplies and it was a really fun shopping spree. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys like these videos, please comment below and maybe give me a thumbs up. I guess I'll see you guys next video. Bye!